Electricity isn't typically generated as a backup on a large scale in industrial settings. When fuel or water power is employed for energy generation, it's easier to regulate the process to prevent excess electricity. However, with renewable energy sources like solar and wind power, controlling when the sun shines or when the wind blows becomes a challenge. Addressing how to conserve renewable energy and supply it during peak hours is a focus of scientific research. Sand batteries are one discussed solution, but there's also interest in gravity batteries. Questions linger about their duration of function, the amount of electricity they can provide, and their potential to revolutionize the realm of renewable energy. Discover more in today's video. Gravity as a means to harness energy for mechanical movement traces back to Huygens' invention of the pendulum clock in 1656. Yet it took around 250 years for the idea of utilizing gravity for energy to gain traction. In 1907, Switzerland constructed the first pump storage system, essentially harnessing the power of gravity. Initially, this pump storage hydroelectricity relied on fossil fuels for operation. It was cost-effective due to production during off-peak hours, yet some of the energy ended up unused. This surplus energy was employed to pump water uphill during low-demand times, utilizing gravity to bring it back down during peak hours powering turbines and creating electricity. Nowadays, similar systems harness renewable energy sources. Pump storage hydropower has been widely utilized for over a century, claiming the top spot as the most favored method of storing electricity globally. While 95% of energy storage facilities in the United States rely on this technology, gravity can serve various purposes beyond water. Different forms of gravity batteries hold the potential to resolve the primary challenge of storing energy from the sun and wind effectively, ensuring timely delivery to consumers while maintaining affordability and durability. Recent years have seen the emergence of startups offering a new concept, the gravity battery. Gravitatricity is one such innovation, but before delving deeper into its specifics, let's grasp the fundamental workings of this novel gravity battery. Essentially, in its charging mode, the system utilizes externally received electricity to elevate a heavy load from bottom to top. This is the process of how potential energy gathers within the load. When the need arises to harvest energy and generate electricity, the load descends due to gravity's force. As it falls, the electric motors shift into generator mode, supplying energy to the consumer. It's important to note that the load doesn't plummet instantaneously. It's engineered to descend gradually. This design allows the system to provide energy continuously for several hours, determined by the load's weight and the elevation it descends from. Simultaneously, the transition from charging to discharging mode occurs within seconds, enabling the system to swiftly respond to high demand periods. Gravitatricity, which introduced its inaugural test prototype in 2021, a demonstration model at the Port of Edinburgh, operates on this principle. The setup resembles that of an elevator, though it's not meant for passengers. Instead, it accommodates two 25-ton loads. These loads ascend slowly to the height of 15 meters, driven by solar energy and electric motors, then swiftly descend in a matter of seconds due to gravity. During a demonstration, it's noted that the blocks fall faster than usual, a deliberate move for showcasing purposes, yet enough to leave an impression. Beyond its impressiveness, this device has the capacity to power a nearby village momentarily. Its current design generates 250 kilowatts, but the potential exists for similar systems to yield between 1 and 20 megawatts of peak power for 8 hours, with estimates suggesting a 20 megawatt grid could supply 63,000 homes per hour. The company, Gravitricity, plans to upscale by using heavier masses lifted to greater heights, or rather drawn down, employing abandoned coal mines which can extend several kilometers deep. There's a symbolic aspect in repurposing remnants of the coal industry to invigorate renewable energy development. The crux of the matter lies in the challenge of storing solar and wind energy effectively. Without proper storage solutions, their potential remains untapped. What are the benefits of these gravity-based batteries compared to lithium-ion ones? Well, first off, there's a significant advantage in terms of cost. When it comes to storing a megawatt-hour, these gravity batteries are at least half the price of lithium-ion counterparts. 
priced at $171, versus dollars for lithium ion, $532 for sodium sulfur batteries, and $274 for flow batteries using innovative electrolytes. Secondly, their service life is a standout feature. While lithium ion batteries degrade within 5 to 10 years based on charging cycles, gravity batteries can last up to 50 years with minimal maintenance or repair costs. Another key advantage is in the extraction of materials. The process for obtaining lithium and other metals involves challenging work conditions and human rights violations, not to mention the depletion of these elements, making this technology less promising in the long term. Additionally, lithium-ion batteries pose fire risks. Lastly, gravity batteries require significantly less space, especially if following the gravitricity method. This aspect holds particular relevance in Europe, where old coal mines exist and space for vast lithium-ion battery installations is limited. Regarding the future of this technology, it's still in its early stages. Initial ideas emerged in 2017, with Gravitricity only building its first test sample in 2021. The company is currently seeking suitable mines in various locations globally, aiming to launch the first battery with a capacity of 4 megawatts around 2023 or 2024, requiring a mine depth of approximately 1 kilometer. However, Gravitricity is a relatively small company, comprising 14 individuals with limited capital. Much hinges on securing funding, government support, and investor confidence. Nonetheless, they anticipate that successfully constructing the first battery will facilitate easier scalability. On the flip side, this technology isn't without its drawbacks. Some skeptics raise concerns about the use of concrete as a weight, highlighting the environmental impact of its production. In response, developers are considering alternative materials like recycled concrete and construction debris to address these concerns. The presence of existing mines in certain areas is a crucial aspect, as not all locations have them readily available. This means new mines would need to be drilled to create batteries or construct tall buildings, thereby driving up the project's expenses. However, despite these minor drawbacks, the potential of gravity batteries appears highly promising and forward-looking. Consequently, it's not just gravitricity that's exploring this technology. For instance, the Energy Vault Swiss project erected a test prototype consisting of six platforms on a 110-meter tower. Each platform moves a 35-ton load, resulting in an installation capable of producing 80 megawatts of peak power. Another project led by Aris in the USA utilizes a slightly different approach by employing solar energy to haul concrete trains uphill, which then descend, generating 50 megawatts of power from a single 300-ton train. Their first site is under construction in Nevada. From a technical perspective, gravity batteries seem highly promising for energy storage, particularly when utilizing solar or wind power. The combination of natural forces enables us to harness more energy without adverse impacts on surrounding ecosystems. Compared to lithium-ion batteries, gravity batteries are more cost-effective and less volatile. They are also versatile, not necessitating specific terrains like pumped storage hydropower and can be installed virtually anywhere, operating efficiently for decades. Nonetheless, implementing a full-scale project is necessary to uncover any potential pitfalls that could undermine this promising technology's success. Whether gravity batteries will become ubiquitous remains to be seen. The near future will reveal their widespread adoption.